Okay, so if you've been with this channel, you know that I have given my fair share of Nick slander. Called them the worst franchise in sports because they're in New York and not having any success. I've said that they're not going to make the playoffs this year. They'll probably be like a 10 or 11 seed. And they'll only be that high because Tom Tiddo is going to play his starters like 45 minutes. But right now, they're 3-3 three and three going into this game. And it looks like they're about to be going 4-3. and three. R.J. Barrett's been hooping. I never doubted that, man. He's got my name. I could never doubt him. Uh, Julius Randle's been hooping. I never really doubted him either. But they finally played Mitchell Robinson some minutes. These are going pretty good for the Knicks. The one guy I doubted for that big time was Obi Toppin, who hasn't been playing in this streak. So I haven't been proven wrong about that yet, at least. Let's get into this. The Hawks have been playing really well, too. So let's let's check out what happened out here. Yes, sir. Mitchie Robb and Clint Capella going for the tip. Knicks fans would tell me, oh, he was again minutes because he was always in foul trouble. That man was coming off the bench. They were starting Taj Gibson over him. What a clown show they had going on. But right now, I can't lie. These Knicks ain't looking so bad. R.J. Barrett is, he's looking like a beast, which I like to see. You know, a Duke fellow with my name, I could never root against him. So I mean, I might have just underestimated that man in his second year, the progress he's going to be making. But it's early, so we'll see. Julius Randle, oh, he's trying to dog him. John Collins, I said, don't this, don't rule him out as being the Hawks' best player, and he's probably about to splash this three. Yes, sir. I like John Collins a lot, but yeah, he's not their best player because the reason I was saying, I was saying Trae Young is probably their best player, but don't rule him out just because Trae Young doesn't really play defense and John Collins is well-rounded, rebounds and all that, but... The thing is, John Collins doesn't play great defense either, so he's a myth. he's a matchup problem in most situations because he can't guard most fours in today, today's league, and he can't really guard any centers. So, Julius Randle, oh my gosh, he came in as just a pure slasher. He was just a pure hash slinging slasher. Now he's out here shooting off balance threes, fadeaway middies. Julius is going crazy. Put an orange with that Julius. Put him in that orange Nick Nick jersey. Orange Julius. DeAndre Hunter, real fundamental. Probably one of those guys, never going to be an all-star, but I think he's a real solid player that you want on your squad. Kind of like a Mikael Bridges type for the Suns. You know, just a solid role player. Oh my gosh, Julius. That man's been working. That man has been grinding. He didn't have to go to the bubble, and you know he was just in the jam grinding. And RJ as well. That Maple Mamba. Pull it out, Herder. White Dwayne Wade with the kick, pump. Trey Young gives him the nickel. Nice Trey. Trey Young jogging it up. Cross. Woo! Yeah, Kevin Knox is a bust. Certified bucks. Knicks fans try to say, oh, he's not a bust. He's this, he's that, he's all right. No, nah, he's cheeks. He's cheeks. He's soft. He's trash. Sorry. Maybe not trash. He's an NBA level player, but he's like a ninth man. Like, nah. He's a bust. You know, we expect him to be an all star. Kevin Herter to the rack. Kick out to Trey. Tricky Trey. That Trey is tricky, even though it is wide open. You can't be leaving Trey Young wide open in transition. Come on, not in the trannies. Woo! John Collins, man. He's fun to watch, man. Julius Randle's trying to bully the hell out of him. Austin Rivers. Looks like he's hooping for the Knicks. I can't lie. Julius Randle in those lanes. Call him Tory. RJ, yeah. Trey Young, you are not stopping RJ. You're not stopping him one bit. Has he? Trey Young says, I'll blow right by you right back. And then drop it off to my man Clint. Oh my gosh. He is bullying. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, Julius. Orange Julius. Lob it over the top. Dang, RJ playing that big man game. Mmm, flex on him, RJ. Dang. To find Alfred. Easy lay. That is atrocious defense from the Hawks. That's what I was worried about when I said coming into the year, I didn't think the Hawks would make the playoffs either. So these are two teams I gave slander to that are off to a good start. But for the Hawks, my worry was they have a lot of players. Some players' egos might get in the way when they just aren't getting the minutes they want. And I don't I don't think they're a very good defensive team. They might be because DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, 
He, Cam Reddish has potential to be a really good defender with his long arms. DeAndre Hunter is a solid defender. But John Collins and Trey Young, their two best players, aren't very good defenders. So we'll see as the season goes on how, how good they can be defensively. Pump? Blow by? Oh. John Collins does have that highlight reel to his name. In these highlights, he always gives us some fun buckets. Oh, he's pulling. Oh, psych. No, oh, thought he was pulling. Everyone's eyes on him. Easy pass. Oh, my gosh. Bring that back. Skip through. <laughs> oh, cheeky. Fake the handy. Now it's time to do the job. Swirl. Hook over the top. What a hooker. Over two of them? Julius. Randy. Jewel Rand. Kick out. John Collins. That man's got game. That is a duo. Keep those two together because they don't play defense. Neither one very well, but they play together well offensively. Lobster. Clint will throw that down. Alfred's trying to operate. Mitch is tough. That's one of their rare good draft picks. That is a long body. Protect that rim like great. Crazy. The only thing to worry about with him is I'm pretty sure he said he's never heard of Hakeem Olajuwon. I'm pretty sure I read that before. That's crazy. How are you in the NBA, an NBA center, and you've never heard of Hakeem Olajuwon? What kind of disrespect is that? That's just a red flag for me when NBA players just uh, don't watch basketball or they don't know anything about basketball. That's crazy to me. The first pick in the draft, Anthony Edwards, talking about he doesn't watch basketball. I don't know. That always worries me a little bit. But Mitchell Robinson... He's just too much to handle on defense and around the rim. He's going he's going to at least be a solid NBA player. Alfred Payton, he's been getting loose with the Knicks. Teams gave up on him just because he couldn't shoot. But he's showing that craftiness. He's a little scrapper. Oh, one more to the bust. Right back to you. Quickly. Show, shoots it quickly. And that's a big fact. Oh my gosh, RJ, you're getting shaken baked on. Yeah, nah, that was a bad shot. Quickly, he's too, too thin down there. He's a thin mint. Swirl through two. Out to RJ. Two dribble pull up. In your face. Come get this. Come get this facial. Oh, he's backpedaling. Sheesh, Cavino. He's going to be a star. Kevin Knox, he is a bona fide all-star. I don't know how you could say anything else. I don't know what you could say otherwise. 6'8", long, could shoot that three off the dribble. He can do it all. Kevin Knox, bona fide star. Trey Young, getting tricky with it. Floaty, flotation device. Not bad. It's good. It's good. Jules in the post. Kick out. Shoots it quickly. Mm. That man's got game offensively. Now it's a one-point game. Oh, this is where the palms get sweaty. Those le that lefty connection, those guys, they're just on the same wavelength. That is a duo. Swivel, right back to Jules. You gonna sag on me? You gonna sag? I'm gonna swag. You gonna sag? I'm gonna show you my swag. Handy, all star, do the job. Great kick out from the bona fide all star. Yes, sir. Lloyd Pierce getting tight over there. Says, all right, let's get it to DeAndre. Let's get to that fundamental man. Trey Young, you're going to dance on Riv? Austin Riv? Oh, no, keep feeding DeAndre. Fundamental. Against the All-Star? Oh, he's getting bullied. Kevin Knox, you are trash. You are a bust. Soft as hell. Lob up to Mitch. And one. Down five, two and a half minutes. Ooh, what's about to happen? Hey, that's M1. No call? And I guess he was straight up. That was some contact in there. Trey Young. Over to, ooh, DeAndre Hunter is getting loose. Dang. That man's, yeah, 23. Ooh, maybe he will be an all-star for real. I doubt it, but that man is solid, absolutely. Oh, rainbow. Austin Rivers hitting clutch threes. 
How is a team with Austin Rivers playing in the clutch winning games? Oh, he's just getting loose. Mitchell, no, Julius Randle's there for the putback. If he hits that, he's different. Nope, that's game. All right, so the next. are now four and three i don't know what the hawks are what are they four and three as well five and two i don't know but these teams i doubted that they both make the playoffs right now they're both on track too but it's real early knicks fans relax a little bit give me another couple wins in a row and then we could have another conversation right now these knicks they're showing that they're at the very least competitive but are they gonna be competitive enough to get in playoffs I don't know. People have been said the playoff game. I forgot that that was a thing. I think most likely they'll probably be in that playoff game. If what is it the eight and nine seed? If it's a ten seed as well, then most likely. But we'll see. There are a lot of teams in the East that are going to be having a fight. Don't think West Brick and those Wizards aren't going to turn it around and get going somewhat competitively. The Magic. There are some teams in the East that you got to worry about. So we'll see what happens. But let me know what y'all think. Drop out a comment. Hit the like and then subscribe. Yes, sir.